So I want to keep this video short because this type of video is not one that I really enjoy doing. I One way that I operate is with positivity and I just love YouTube and I love helping other creators. I never want to come across as being negative or preachy or anything like that. But I think this topic is very important to talk about. So I want to do this video. I'm going to keep this as brief as possible. But the topic I want to talk about today is growing your subscriber count, growing your channel by using the sub for sub, follow for follow, or even worse, buying engagement, buying subscribers, things like that. So I want to talk about this briefly. Up front, you don't want to do this. I'm going to tell you why right after this. What's going on everybody? My name is Ken with Just Hit Record and on this channel, I like to give you tips and tricks, encouragement, different tools that you can use to grow your channel, to grow your subscriber count, to grow your following, your audience, your community. I love using this channel for that purpose. I love helping people and I want you to be able to grow your channel starting with Just Hit Record and get your content out there. Again, I think everybody has a story. Everybody has a reason to make content and there's somebody out there right now that needs the message that you have. So. Hopefully this channel helps you with that. Again, I love to do things on a positive level and I have fun, I love YouTube, but I think this topic is so important that I need to talk about it. So let's jump right into the topic. Now, the reason that I decided to make this video is because I've been doing YouTube for a couple of years now. This is my second channel. I grew my first channel organically, which I'm gonna talk about in this video, without using any of the gimmicky type stuff that you see sometimes. I was able to do that and now I'm working on this channel doing the same thing. I want you to be able to do the same thing. There's a lot of reasons why. But first I wanna tell you a story. The reason that I finally decided to make this video is because I was scrolling through TikTok a couple of weeks ago and there was a creator who was in doing a live stream and she was basically asking people to go subscribe to her new YouTube channel. On the surface, seems innocent enough, right? Basically, this live stream was her with her camera pointed at her computer screen. She had her YouTube channel up. She started this live stream with no subscribers and she had no content on her channel whatsoever. She was asking people to go subscribe and she was even saying during the live stream, I don't know what type of content I'm gonna do yet. So the people going to subscribe, they don't know what they're subscribing to. She doesn't yet have a clear vision for her channel. She's not really niche down at all. So she's not even sure what her audience should look like. Now there's a lot of problems with that and I wanna talk about that in this video. Now this video is not to call anybody out or anything like that. It's just to bring general awareness to this because as a new creator, you may see this, you may come across this and think, oh, this is a great way to grow my channel. Let's do this. I wanna tell you that it's not and I wanna tell you why. Now first and most importantly, I wanna show you YouTube's policy on this. I want you to be familiar with this. If you're gonna be a content creator on YouTube as a new channel especially, make sure that you make yourself familiar with YouTube's policies so that you don't accidentally do something you're not supposed to do. This one is very simple and straightforward and let's talk about it. So fake engagement policy, this is directly through YouTube help. Fake engagement policy, YouTube doesn't allow anything that artificially increases the number of views, likes, comments, or other metrics, either by using automatic systems or serving up videos to unsuspecting viewers. If you read down through here, you'll read more about what this means. It'll talk about stuff like sub for sub and follow for follow, purchasing subscribers, fake engagement, everything that comes along with that. So I will link this down in the description so that you can read through this. But bottom line, what I wanna cover in this video is the sub for sub, follow for follow, and buying subscribers. Now YouTube is a platform where they want us to create content and they give us this platform basically for free that we can use to upload our videos, create a catalog of videos, a library, for your business, for your channel, whatever your goals may be, YouTube gives us this platform for free. But not everything is free, right? There's a big reason why they do that. YouTube's goal is for you to create a channel, to create videos that people are going to watch. The more times that YouTube can keep people on the website, watching videos, engaged with YouTube, whether that's through your videos or somebody else's, the more money that YouTube makes. And they make that money through ads and some other different things like that. So. Basically, that is YouTube's goal. They want to have real engagement for as long as possible using the content that we put out. Now, the reason why YouTube has a strict policy against sub for sub, follow for follow, or even buying fake engagement is because of that. They are even willing to go to the length of if your channel is caught doing this, if they are able to look at analytics and tell that this is going on, they may even shut down your channel. 
So the hard work that you did put into building your channel, minus this part, because this isn't hard work, but the work that you do put in is gonna be down the drain, your channel will be gone. That's how serious YouTube is about this. So before we go further, let's talk about what this type of engagement is, sub for sub, follow for follow. Let's talk about what this means and why it hurts your channel. So basically a sub for sub or a follow for follow, they're the same thing. You see these a lot in videos. There are some actual channels out there that actually ask you to do this. And you can read through comments and you can see where people will say, hey, this is my channel, follow me, I'll follow you back. This is my channel, sub to me, I'll sub to you. And people gain subscribers that way. This is something that happens a lot. Even the part about buying subscribers, there are third party websites that you can go to and you can purchase block numbers of subscribers, of likes, of dislikes, of views. These third party websites will then take whatever package you paid for, they will go to your video or to your channel, however they're set up, and they will give you what you asked for. They will, they will send accounts to subscribe, they will watch your videos, they will like your videos, things like that. Now here is the problem though. The difference in this type of activity and real engagement is that when you go through a third party or you do a sub for sub or a follow for follow type thing, for the most part, the people that engage in this, or if it's through the website, the accounts they use to generate this engagement for you, they're gonna go click on your video, they're gonna watch for five, 10, 15 seconds, whatever. They may throw a comment down there real quick that, first of all, these comments are always obvious that they're from fake accounts or not real. These people aren't really engaged with you. They will do that for you, and that may work for you for that one video, that video may take off. The problem though is that that video is not going to reach the audience that you intend. So the long game, the long run success of your channel is going to suffer. It's not going to get to that point because you have success on one video. The people that come watch or that subscribe to your channel because you sub to theirs, they may never come back and watch a video. So yeah, you have a high subscriber count at this point, but I've said many times what's more important than subscribers is views and watch time you're definitely not going to get that out of it. So your channel is going to be hurt in the long run because you're not meeting YouTube's goal of keeping people on the platform of having real engagement. And so your channel is going to be hurt. And then again, you stand the chance of your channel being shut down. If YouTube catches on to what you're doing, definitely not a road you want to go down. This is not the way to create engagement on your channel, not the way to grow your channel. And it will not create sustainable growth that you can take forward and actually build upon your goals of your business or your channel, whatever it is you have. So long story short, all that to say, sub for sub, follow for follow, or buying engagement, you do not wanna do that. If you want a successful channel, you definitely do not wanna take those routes of gaining those numbers. Stay away from those. If anybody tries to tell you they work, please don't listen to them. If you want your channel to succeed, stay away from this type of thing. So now that we have that out of the way, what should you do to grow your channel? What is the right way to grow your audience, your subscribers, and grow your channel to what you want it to be? Very simply put, the best and only way to grow your channel is through organic growth. Now, organic growth happens, number one, by creating content that is watchable, that people wanna see. Your content should be something that either entertains somebody, solves a pain point for somebody, solves their problem, or helps them in their life somehow, brings value to their life. If you do that, first and foremost, you will gain a following, you will find subscribers, you will gain a community on YouTube of people that wanna come back and watch your videos. Your channel will grow that way. Now, it is a slower growth. It is a slower growth on YouTube because your channel needs to be discovered. The only way to do this YouTube thing successfully is that slow organic growth. You wanna build your audience that way. You wanna find the people that wanna see your content slow. That is sustainable. Now, you can also do things like use social media in a way to get your brand out there, advertise your brand, share with the world what you're doing, what type of content you're putting out, use keywords and hashtags effectively, use good thumbnails, all of this kind of stuff I'll talk about on this channel. These are all ways that you can generate growth for your channel, that you can have your channel discovered, all while doing the organic growth that you need to do, letting people find your content naturally. Those are the people that will come back and watch your videos, that will wanna be part of your community on YouTube, that is how your channel is going to grow. And that's the only way to grow on YouTube. So there's a lot more to this that I wanted to, you know, I wanted to make this a short video. Again, this is not the type of video that I enjoy doing, but I think it's so important that we understand why we should not take part in this kind of stuff to grow our channels. I want your channel to be successful. So I felt this video was important to do. Hopefully you see this video and you understand, hopefully this comes across the right way. 
there's so much more. If there's something I didn't answer for you, if you have any specific questions about any of this, throw them down in the comments and I will definitely make sure that I answer those. I want you to be successful, but I want you to be successful the right way. So thank you for watching this video. Hopefully this helps. If I can help you in any other way, check out the website, kenthecontentcoach.com. On my website, you will find links to everything I have going on. You can also reach me by email at ken at ken the content coach. I would love to help you in any way possible. Feel free to reach out. Thank you once again for watching this one. I hope you have a great week. Until the next video, just hit record and go out there and find your audience organically. Grow your channel and we will see you next time.